This is Marcus Blake speaking, and in this video, I'm not going to use any fancy edits to grab your attention, and it's just going to be me speaking to you and giving you honest advice on how to treat a sunburn, and if that's not for you and you can't handle me speaking for 10 minutes without me having to have some fancy filters and subtitles and background music, then this isn't the video for you. How I treated the sunburn, or let me go back. The way I got my sunburn was playing soccer shirtless for two hours and it was about 80 degrees outside the sun was shining there were about no clouds and i was just playing and when i got home i was all red and my mom literally gasped because i was shirtless she's like holy shit you're sunburned so i go in the mirror i'm like oh yeah i am kind of red and when i would touch the red parts it it would kind of feel sensitive and so I didn't search up anything on YouTube or on Google. All I did was took a shower and then put some aloe vera cream, which is the first thing I'm going to talk about. Buy aloe vera cream. This is the first way to treat a sunburn. Buy aloe vera cream or some lotion or something that'll help you significantly reduce that burning feeling that you get. And you're extremely unmoisturized when you get a sunburn. Because all your body is using all of the water in in your system to rejuvenate and help with the redness and the swelling and the burning feeling. And when you have a sunburn, it's like a constant burning feeling you get. But it's not excruciating, really. I mean, it depends on how bad it is. But it's just a constant feeling of a, like a rash. Like if you were to if you were to get a towel and rub it against your skin real hard. And you and how you feel after it's like that feeling but everywhere that's red and if it's really bad you'll get blisters and i actually got a couple blisters right here on my traps and my shoulders and the the places you get blisters are actually really sensitive so be careful when you take showers and be careful when someone touches you because it could really hurt even when you tap it on the um, blister, so be really careful when you apply the aloe vera cream, but blisters usually only form later on, like the next day, because it takes time. So the first thing that I want you to do when you notice you have a sunburn is to number one, take ibuprofen. Ibuprofen or Advil or whatever the brand name is. Ibuprofen is a medication that prevents swelling and redness and can really help with a sunburn and it could really numb down the feeling you get like the burning sensation especially if it's really bad it'll like you at one point yesterday morning after i took a shower and this was already 24 hours after my sunburn it was the most painful experience in my sunburn era like the three day not my most painful experience in my life i'm not over exaggerating but it was like oh man i'm really fucked up you can't move my sunburn was pretty bad. I had blisters on my shoulders. I couldn't move my shoulders. I can now, but if I were to like reach up and grab something, it would just hurt insanely. Or not insanely bad, but it would just like, I couldn't clean. I couldn't make videos or none of that. So that's why the past three days I have made videos. The first thing you do when you get a sunburn, take ibuprofen. 200 milligrams, and if it's really bad, take 400 milligrams. 400 milligrams in the morning the next day. So you get a sunburn, say it's like, say it's, you're about to go to bed, you get a sunburn. And the next morning, you take 400 milligrams because it's going to be really painful this day after. Because the first day you get it, it's like a constant burning feeling. The next day after, you're going to sleep like shit. You're, whenever you take showers, it hurts. Whenever you move your shoulders, it hurts. It depends on where you get sunburn. But for me, it was on the shoulder. So yeah, I literally like... I couldn't reach up in the air. I couldn't clean. I couldn't extend my elbows out. I couldn't go to the gym, so I missed a couple of days. You know, I couldn't... I was just mobilized. I couldn't really do much. And I was super sensitive. So take ibuprofen just to help with that. And then another thing you do is you have to take a cold shower or a cold bath. And be careful with the water pressure here. Because if it's really bad sunburn and you have blisters, again, be careful when you take showers. Put the water low. Not hot or cold, but don't have it at much pressure. Have it sprinkling, not like blasting on you, right? Because my water, my shower in my, or my water hose in my shower has some insane pressure. It's like a massage kind of feels good, but not when you have blisters, you know what I mean? So have it like raining on you a little bit 
like dribbling on you a little bit. You get your hair wet and make sure you get the area wet it's because you're usually sweaty after you wake up or after you get go outside and have a sunburn, you're usually sweaty. So yeah, you got to get rid of all of the dirt and stuff. And after a couple of days, you're going to be peeling a little bit. So that means you're going to have to take showers pretty more often or unless you want to be uncomfortable most of the time. Because when you wear clothes, I was bad. I was so bad. I couldn't wear clothes. So that is the sec- So we we covered so far, take medication, do cold showers, and be careful with your blisters. Put on aloe vera cream as well. Another bonus tip, you might expect to be shirtless for the next 48 hours. You are... If you have it bad like me, I couldn't even wear a shirt. So, first way, a little recap. The first way to treat a sunburn is take 200 milligrams of ibuprofen because that'll help reduce the swelling and the redness and the discomfort and overall just help you insanely. Ibuprofen was a savior for me. 400 milligrams if it's that bad, you know, if you're like really intense. The second way to treat a sunburn is to treat the skin. Take a cold shower. Don't put too much pressure on it. Have it buy aloe vera gel. Put cream specialized for um, after sunburn treatment if you don't have aloe vera gel. Something like that. Savior for me. It smells kind of shit though in my opinion. So be careful with that. Have a family member put it on your back or whatever. And just let it sit there. You're good. The third way to treat a sunburn is make it more comfortable. Don't expect to wear a shirt. Don't put any clothing on it. When you go to sleep, make sure your bed sheets aren't rough. Make sure they're kind of soft like a puffy bed sheet if you get what I mean like um, wool and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So if you have any comments or questions, comment them down below. I'll, re I'll definitely respond to them, answer your questions. I'll see y'all. Marcus back later.